Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is an activist and an actor you know from One Tree Hill and Chicago PD. She now stars in the CBS show Good Sam. Please welcome to The Late Show, Sophia Bush. <laughs> Nice to see you. you know, uh, we've only met once before, and that was at the Emmys. It was. My seat was empty next to me during the commercial break, and you were lovely. You came over to say hi as, you know, ca you know, fellow CBS employees here. You're being very kind. What do you mean? I ran over during a commercial break to fangirl Stephen Colbert and thank him for his political advocacy, and then the lights came on. And I tried to dive under the table because his table was not my table. And it was our category. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh there. my God, I'm not supposed to be like, here. Sit down. And he just said, oh, Sophia Bush, you sit down. It was very polite. Yeah. And I, I think my face was as pink as my dress when you won. No, it was, uh, it was you were a good luck charm. I, I, you yeah. know, I'll go back next year. I'll wear a headband of every, your faces, whatever you year, want. please. Yeah. You, you play a heart surgeon who takes over as the chief of surgery mm -hmm. after your Dad yeah. lapses into a coma. Yeah. Okay. He has a wee accident, and I, uh, my character is the cardiac fellow, so that's okay. second in command. Sure. She gets asked to fill in, and. Um, How do you prep for that? Do you like? Did you do a ride along? Did you get to cut anybody open? Yeah. You did. Not you did personally, not. but I, I got to shadow incredible, incredible cardiothoracic surgeons in Los Angeles. Did you scrub in? Like, were you in the room? Yeah. No way. Oh, yeah, that every day. That seems irresponsible. No, well, you get permission from the patient and their family. OK. And then the doctors are wonderful and sort of walk you through things. I also had a million questions because I wanted to go to medical school. So, you know, they're lifting up parts of chest cavities. And I'm going, well, how, how are you choosing to harvest the saphenous vein? Why aren't you going into the leg? And how do you make the decision? And they were like, huh, you're, you're impressed by this. And I was like. Yeah, I'm a circus performer. You guys are actual rock stars. <laughs> we have a clip here. Can you tell us what we're about to see? Because I saw it. I'm not sure what I saw. What's, ah, what's happening here? Yes, so normally we're at the hospital, but we have a, a fancy fundraiser gala, so the doctors get out of their scrubs and into some gowns. Sure. And there is an accident, yeah. uh, and it requires some work around a jugular vein, and it was very bloody and disgusting, and you're going to watch it now. <laughs> Great. Jim? <laughs> oh, oh. He's out. Let's turn. Okay. Everyone back One, up. Two, some space. three. <clears throat> oh, he's bleeding out. All right, get pressure on it. I can't get control until I get this out. Do it fast. Don't think about it. Uh, Here, get okay. it. Yeah. <clears throat> if I put any more pressure on this, his airway is going to collapse. The cut's too deep. We're going to tie off the external jugular. With what? Anybody have any dental floss? A uh, manicure kit. I need ice, hand sanitizer, and more Thanks. light, please. Come on. There you go. Yes, yes, thank you. Woo! We just missed the really good part. What's the good? What happens next? To sew them up? Yeah. Well, I actually got to get into, they built us a prosthetic with the vein that I got to pull out with tweezers and do all. I should wow. let you watch the episode, but it wow. was very exciting. Well, so now you know what to do in case a waiter falls down or champagne glass goes to their neck. Absolutely. My greatest fear is that there will be a medical incident on a plane and someone will think I'm a real doctor. And I'm going to be like, I don't know how to help you. Get me a <laughs> tube of crazy glue. <laughs> Where are the oxygen masks? I don't know. Now, you, you also host your own podcast called Work in Progress, yes. where you, you, you interview luminaries in, in every field. You, do you have a favorite? Because how many, how many of these have you done so far? Oh, my gosh. We've, we're well over 100 episodes now. And that's a lot. Yeah. That's and a it, lot. And it's been so incredible to interview so many people who I admire, from you know politicians to authors to other entertainers and creatives. I know um, it's hard to pick because you know, people say, "Who's your favorite yeah. guest?" And I always go, "It's Sophia Bush." Well, obviously. And, <laughs> but do you have do you have a favorite? Some person like it's been the, the greatest pleasure to interview so far. There's many of those, but you know, in talking about having this show and it being a full circle moment from my childhood goals, I had another full circle moment from my childhood 
in the eighth grade, Jane Goodall came and spoke to my class. Wow. And I was this budding little California environmentalist who wanted to save the trees and all the animals. And she inspired me so tremendously. And this past December, I interviewed her on the podcast and oh, told her about that day. That's oh, that's it was so lovely. cool. That's yeah. just lovely. Yeah. Now, um, do you enjoy having done all these interviews uh, yourself? Some people like to be interviewed, and some people mm -hmm. like to be in sort of the controlling position, the interviewer, like, mm. like I am right now. And uh, I've done them both. There's positives and negatives for both positions. Yeah. What do you like more? I mean, I have to do this part for work, and when I get to do it with people I really admire, it's really fun. But I, I love being able to be the interviewer because I really get to ask the sorts of questions that I think so many of us ponder when we look at people we look up to. And I love to really get into the marrow of things with people. Mm. I'm not good at light conversation. Like, I'm terrible at a dinner party. I'm like, how's the weather? I don't know what to ask people. How's your soul? Are you dealing with your childhood trauma? Like, sure. I want to, like, get in there. Yeah, and if someone gets a jugular vein cut. Exactly. Ready, ready like, I go. literally have a line to the soul. Well, is, so, there, is there anything you'd like to ask me? Oh. I mean, A, I'd love for you to come on my podcast. No pressure. You're on television. Sure. Okay. I would love to, but I've got, <laughs> I've got to be best man at a wedding. Uh, okay. It doesn't have to be now. Uh, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> I do have a question for you. Oh, you do? Yeah. I, I, I do question, have a real question uh, for you. Madame? Because you are able to thread a needle that is so fine between incredibly complex political commentary and great humor. Whereas I'm stressed about statistics, you manage to make people laugh about this stuff. How do you do that? Oh, it's really simple. Just get an amazing writer's room and incredible <laughs> producers. <laughs> but here's the, the important thing. Make sure your name's on the outside of the building so people think you do. <laughs> okay, cool. Sophia, cool. it was lovely to meet you Thank again. You. Yes. Thanks for being here. Thank Please join you. me at the Emmys next year. I would love to. Good Sam airs Wednesdays at 10 p.m. on CBS. It is available to stream on Paramount+. Plus. Sophia Bush, everybody.